My name is Addison and I'm running for kid governor because I want to help stop animal cruelty. I think I'd be a good kid governor because I'm kind, I work hard, and I get things done. One part of my three-point plan is to work with state and local government to make stricter laws against animal cruelty. Another part of my three-point plan is to work with SPCA officers to give presentations in schools to teach kids the signs of animal cruelty. My last part of my three-point plan is to bring awareness to social media. If I see an animal getting hurt, I need to do something about it because being cruel isn't cool. Did you guys know that an animal got lit on fire and was killed? I think the owners should get in ginormous trouble. Really? I've heard that 1.5 million animals get abused, 860,000 cats and 670,000 dogs. I read that there is a strong link between being cruel and domestic violence. So if you save an animal from being hurt, you may also be saving the family too. I think we need to do something to help stop animal cruelty. What if SBC officers can come in and get presentations? Maybe we could bring awareness through social media, learning podcasts, maybe even Instagram, or blogs, websites too. Maybe we can work with state and local government to make sure to us. If I were you, I would vote for Addison. And remember, being cruel isn't cool. I am here with JP, my Connecticut state representative for the 112th district. Thank you for taking this time to discuss my Connecticut Kid Governor platform on animal cruelty. Thank you for having me, Addison. I have a couple questions for you. Go ahead. How can we get kids to be more interested in animal cruelty and help promote stricter laws to the Connecticut legislator? I think an important way to do that is through education and awareness at a very young age, even in elementary school. Um, two more questions. Has there been any recent discussion in Hartford to pass stricter laws against animal cruelty? There have been a bunch of bills introduced, one of which was the Animal Cruelty Registry, which would have shown the public who has been convicted of animal cruelty laws in the past. However, that bill didn't pass, but I'm hoping it comes back next year. Okay, one last question. Have you ever heard or of an animal cruelty event that happened? Unfortunately, we had a local event where we had a gentleman who was an owner of a business who was treating animals unfairly and leaving them in unsanitary conditions. Fortunately, uh, the town and the state stepped in, and he was prosecuted for his crimes. Okay. Thank you, JP, for discussing this with me. And, and remember, remember, being, being cruel, cruel isn't cool. cool. If you vote for me, together we can help stop animal cruelty. So vote for me, Addison, for Connecticut Governor. Thank you for watching my video. And remember, being cruel isn't cool. Thank you.